Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Hope the video is useful and helpful in your designing process. And we're at our home stretch for subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, help me out and let's get to our goal. Uh, if you're a return viewer uh, and haven't subscribed yet, please, please again, uh, smash that subscribe button. Uh, h help a brother out. And uh, if you're a return uh, subscriber and viewer, uh, again, the support has been humbling. Uh, and thank you very, very much for all your support. Uh, so today I thought we'd just go ahead and do a ring rail, uh, or a ring, a pearl ring. Uh, but first, uh, just something. Uh, I'm not sure. Is, is Jim Map new or has that always been there? Uh, just uh, I, I don't think I remember seeing that but that's uh, uh, interesting uh, but I Jim vision is I guess coming up with a 3.2 update so if you haven't uh, uh, you're not at 3.0 or 3.1 uh, you might or 3 I should say uh, you should uh, maybe uh, check that out uh, again I have no affiliation with Jim vision or matrix I'm just a lonely guy out here trying to help people with uh, their uh, uh, designing needs in the matrix. I do have a SOS going out. So dee -dee 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 -dee, uh, SOS. Uh, I have a viewer that asked about uh, the tools command, the gem report or tech report. It's it's printing black for him and not white. And to tell you the truth, I'm at a loss. I have not seen anywhere where you can go in and change the tech report. Uh, I do know you can go ahead and just reset, uh, but if anybody out there has come across that issue where uh, your tech report uh, background is printing black instead of white, uh, please uh, leave a comment below and let's help this guy out. This, that's what this channel is all about, is just helping each other. So let's build a community of help. Uh, so if you've had the uh, issue of your tech report with a black background instead of white, uh, please leave a comment and let's, let's try and find out what, what's going on. Not only for him, but if it ever happens to us, we can fix it too. Uh, so uh, just uh, SOS, all right? Uh, so please leave a comment if, if you've had that issue and you know how to fix it or you know what's going on or where to go. All right, uh, so let's get started with this ring, sorry. Uh, we'll grab a uh, ring rail. And we'll just keep it at a size 7 and right away we'll just go to our solids because we need a pearl for our pearl. So we're going to use the sphere or ball and we'll just use the from center and uh, I'll click on uh, F4 here. Uh, and I have diameter of 6 so it'll be a 6 millimeter pearl. So we'll just go ahead and hit enter there. Uh, we'll take that pearl, we'll drag it up here somewhere around here should be fine. That's, that's probably more than enough. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and leave that there. Now we'll go back to our tools and we'll grab an outside ring rail uh, and wait for it. And right away, I, everybody who's watched my channel knows I like a beefy shank, so 2.5 by 2.5. I just like a little thicker. I like to give things they can hand down to their kids. Uh, and we'll go to our profile, or library rather, and everyone knows I kind of like the Euro shank, so we're just going to grab that. Uh, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and drag that up a little bit uh, to our pearl. It, it, you, however high you want it, it doesn't matter. Uh, and we'll hit enter. All right, and now we'll go to uh, our curves, and I'll change to yellow at this point so we can have our creation layer. And I will just grab a line curve with my snaps on, and my quad snap, uh, I will go to that quad and just draw a line out, doesn't matter how far, uh, and click there. And then we want this to come swirling around something like this. So we're going to out here in space, but I don't want to cross over my ring rail. So I'll just pick somewhere around here and kind of just draw a line. We can always manipulate it later, so uh, that'll be fine. And what we'll do now is go to a blend. We'll blend from this and blend from this one. And I hope that's in the update where if you pick to that end, it'll instead of having to come over here all the time. Uh, but we'll switch those. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. We're just kind of... Uh, getting it somewhat of a shape that we want and we'll just go ahead and hit enter and we'll go to this one we'll turn on our points and that's that's good enough we should have good con uh, let's go ahead and rebuild it uh, rebuild 
and we'll change it to a degree two no we'll take it to a degree uh four and we'll leave it at six points and hit enter actually i should have probably changed that to five probably would have been easier uh we'll go over here grab this one drag it out a little bit and i want it to come in some so we'll drag this one in something like that uh we'll go ahead and drag this one in a little bit too something like that so it's got a nice swirl around it and maybe this one here a little bit out and we'll just go ahead in there uh, i'm not going to waste your time we can always readjust this later double tap on escape get rid of those points select that there that we made our blend with and we'll change those to gray and turn them off all right so we have that curve now we need to get it up to our ring rail right so we'll go to curve two views uh, we'll grab that curve down here at our C plane and we'll grab our outside ring rail and it'll snap it up and as you can tell it got rid of our outside ring rail no big deal we can always bring it back so let's go ahead and hit enter here. And before I do anything else, let's go ahead and set it up. It looks like we'll probably need to uh, manipulate it a little more, uh, but let's go ahead and set it up. So we've got th that curve and we'll go to our gems and uh, gems on curve, this curve here, hit enter. And we'll give it some shading here so we can kind of see what's going on. And we want to uh, drag our items around here. What we want to do is uh, we want to bring our stones down, but not real far because we, we probably want to have this metal here instead of prongs so it's not digging into the other finger. So we'll just keep it around this height here. Uh, and looking down from the top, it, it looks pretty good. You'll see a little bit of ring there, but that's fine. Uh, and let's see, let's go to our per perspective here and yeah, we'll probably need to bring that out a little. Uh, but let's go ahead and bump those up just a little. Something like that. And we'll take this space and kind of get it closer, right? All right, so we'll just take something like this here. Now let's try our under bezel settings. Under bezel. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. I must have done something I didn't notice. So uh, right now you can see our stones are digging into our pearl, which is not good, but we can always manipulate that later. And we wanna see how we have to manipulate it. So let's go ahead and put everything up there we need. Uh, so let's go to our dome here and uh, let's just get rid of that dome. And uh, let's see, uh, let's take this to uh, maybe a point six. Hold down shift, it should snap to fives. Yeah, there we go. And let's just go ahead and take that straight down and let's take this to a six as well. Okay, so it's going straight through and then let's drag this up right into our stones or right close by. And we'll take that. Yeah, looks okay. Uh, let's see, we can, they're kind of bowed out a little bit, so let's go ahead in here and kind of drag them a little straighter. Something like that. Yeah. All right, so, you know, manipulate it however you want, of course. Uh, and uh, I'll drag this out just a little bit more. Make that bottom hole a little bit bigger. Uh, and well, let's hide our, I'm not going to waste a lot of time for you. Uh, I would spend some time kind of getting it together. There we go. All right, uh, so we'll just go ahead and take that and hit that. Bring back our stones. And we'll grab our stones and we'll go to put our prongs on. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do a little manipulation here. I want to make my prongs a little bit thicker. And <coughs> first thing I should have done was drag that height up. Uh, so I'm going to drag my height up so I can get a nice prong to be easily set. Craftsman will love me. Uh, and we got them uh, around a 6.3. We got a nudge of 15%. Uh, and we're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and fix those end prongs. Uh, 6.3 I think was the diameter. So we'll click there. Uh, point uh, six three enter get those up to size we won't worry about that when we see that that one's off no big deal right now 
uh, and we'll just go ahead and take that all right yeah let's go back to our all our prongs and we want to just take the prong depth all the way down it's going only take lets you take it to a negative point three and as you can tell they're not touching my ring rail which I need them to be so I'm gonna go over here type in a negative uh, four so now they're all past my ring rail uh, so and hit enter okay so all my prongs are out there you can tell some are a little like that one's kind of maybe a little too far in uh, but we, we need to manipulate that curve anyway to get those off our pearl so uh, let's and this one right here is kind of a little hinky jacked up so we need to fix that uh, so there's some minor uh, issues that we need to deal with so let's go ahead and uh, first yeah first let's go to our uh, front view and let's go to our transform and with our dynamic uh, well cutters sorry let's go to our cutters cut to ring rail uh, select surfaces that'll be these and hit enter okay and we'll hit enter all right so we've got those out there all right now let's go ahead and we need to fix those prongs before we move on and we need to fix that curve right so I'm gonna take that curve that we got originally put out there turn back on its points because we need to do a little manipulation and we want to keep an eye on our perspective here because we need to bring looks like just that one stone kind of out maybe this one here so these maybe these three right here so we'll select that point there and kind of just bump that curve out and it should update and let's take it out and over a little there we go yeah there we go it's looking better if you look in our perspective you can kind of see it's giving us some room let's flip it over and take a look underneath here still maybe maybe a little bit more so let's go ahead and drag that out a little and it updates now it's not touching no no problem there uh, okay so let's kind of take a look in here yeah that looks pretty good looks like we've got a little bit of space going around there which is kind of what we want right there. yeah all right so let's go ahead and take that uh, so I'll just double tap on escape get rid of those points all right now we need to deal with these prong issues here right uh, so let's identify the prongs that we need to uh, kind of work on and the first one most definitely would be uh, this one here right this one right here on the end because it's kind of needs to kind of come over here to this area right uh, so we'll just go ahead and do this first first let's turn all those back to uh, purple all right and then we're going to take these pearls we're going to or prongs ungroup them hold down control deselect this one and then group them back together so that they're all grouped together and then we're going to go here and grab that one prong if we move it will break history but we have a command up here I think it's in solids or tool yeah right here MSR objects uh, so we can uh, move the uh, MSR objects and it's a dynamic command so it should be okay so let's take that and let's see what we can do here let's move him out a little somewhere around here so it's kind of staying even with our ring here or our other prong and then we'll bring him in okay so something like that okay yeah and it's much better right and then we have this one here so let's go ahead first hit enter here let's go ahead and pick this one and all these group them back together I know this is pain the butt it's just my way of doing it uh, and then I'm gonna hold down uh, control I'm gonna ungroup them and I'm gonna hold down control and just pick this one well ungroup pick this one deselect I'm going to select this one back and I'm going to group him back with those so they should be grouped yeah I just rather do it one-on-one -on -one than uh, and just keep everything together and that one looks mm, okay uh, but this one here kind of looks a little hinky 
so right here I think really the only thing we might need to do is kind of tilt him just a little oh let's go back I, I broke history because I did not do what I did not use the command so let's do this all right so I got the select objects enter okay and now let's kind of just tilt him in just a little there something like that okay yeah now much better all right let's go ahead and hit enter and take a look yeah that's much better any others that we might need to kind of change up a little and this one looks a little bit off doesn't it so uh, let's go ahead and select all these and we'll group them together and then uh, we will go and ungroup them and I'll hold down control select the uh, I didn't hit enter did I so we'll group those together hold down control uh, group so they're all grouped together I'll ungroup them hold down control and just pick this one here yeah none day what all right ungroup so they're ungrouped right okay and see you can't once you touch uh, ungroup then they're all toast so th then you got to go back and select them all so let's just undo okay so they're grouped let's ungroup and I'm going to hold down control deselecting this one and then group them back together there we go and this one just looks like it needs to be just dragged out just a little bit so we'll just drag that out to here oh I did it again don't forget to use your command <laughs> so we'll select this go to our MLS and then grab that and drag it out just a little and hit enter all right so we got that and that should be fine all right and I guess we could do that with this let's ungroup them all just and then I'll uh, oh, select this one go to this and that will put this command on and we'll just drag that in a little bit and move him over a little we just uh, you can go through and manipulate your prongs to however you really best want or whatever so I'm going to just take all this real quick and then hide it I'm going to uh, go through here and select all my prongs there I'll hold down the shift select these here select these here and make sure I have them all which I do and then I'm going to group them back together and I'm going to change them all to purple all right and then I'll bring back everything all right so we have this all right <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, I'll just uh, we'll turn take our yellow and we will turn it to red real quick and then turn it off uh, now I need to get that line through the center here right I've done this probably 15 different ways and I'm not sure which way is the best way to do it they all offer different challenges and different uh, uh, issues uh, but uh, it's they're slightly curved right they're they're curving in toward the the C, uh, F4 right so if I was to take that curve that we originally had out there uh, Oh, I turn on red. This one here, uh, and try to do a, uh, you know, orient or something. It wouldn't fit right in the middle because they're they're curved in. So it it they're, it it's offers a little bit more challenge. But uh, like I said, I've done it 15 different ways, and I don't know which way is best. But this is the way I'm going to show you today. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a line curve. Okay, and with my snaps on. Uh, and my uh, quad, mid, and near, and ends make it fairly easy. I'm just going to go from the outside of these prongs, uh, from the quads or from the mids, depending on how they kind of lined up, and just connect them together uh, from the outside, right? I don't, you know, like I said, I've done it 15 different ways, uh, and uh, this one just seems to give the, the best results thus far. Uh, let's take this from the mid and we'll go over there in the mid 
take that one from the mid and go to the mid take this one from the mid the mid just work our way around all, all your prongs there doesn't take very long it's a pain in the butt but uh, you you the results uh, seem to be worth it there okay so we have all those out there and next thing we want to do is we want to go to our uh, top viewport right and we want to activate that keep it active in the top viewport and then we want to go to transform and we want to uh, project to C plane uh, select objects to project to C plane will be all our yellow and we'll hit enter and we'll just get rid of those ones at the top and they should be all down there at the bottom so now we want to go ahead and bring back our ring rails or outside uh, flow curve our ring rails still hidden I wonder what those happened to that under bezel that's still freaking me out okay from here what we want to do is go to curves again get a, a freeform curve or uh, interp curve however you want to call it and we'll go from that quad on the outside to the mid to the mid, to the mid, to the mid, to the mid, keep going through there, right, and hit enter, okay, so those are through all our mids, that one looks a little hinky, but anyway, we'll go ahead and take it, uh, and now what we want to do is go to, uh, let's see, uh, curve from two views, we want to select that curve we just draw, and we want to select our ring rail and it didn't oh okay I know why this time though okay so let's go to our because maybe something didn't go to C plane you can redraw that that's fine uh, we'll just go to our C plane click on our active viewport we'll go back to project curve to C plane select objects to project we'll take that curve uh, and we'll hit enter and we'll just get rid of the old one so we have this one and now we should be able to do this uh, curve from two views select that curve and this one and there we go it just wasn't snapped to the C plane in order to project you need to have it snapped to the C plane or it ha has to be planar okay so now we have this and yeah I should have probably fixed that so let's let's go back let's abort that let's go back to our curve here I should have probably went ahead and fixed it when I saw it okay uh, so let's do the interp curve again from this point here mid 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 maybe take your time don't try and rush I'm trying to not okay and then what we'll do is we'll just rebuild just ever so slightly uh, six four how much is it off point zero let's put seven points on there point one five uh, there we go and it's a much nicer curve we'll hit okay all right so now we have a better curve there and uh, now we'll try the from two port views we'll take this curve here this curve here and there we go and it's pinky good kinda goes through the middle there that's kinda one way of doing it like I said there's like a ton of ways so I'm going to go ahead so well first to enter select those points and turn them to gray and I'm going to take that one and turn it to gray as well and actually I should be saving so uh, always good time to save keep job bagging uh, so we have this curve here now now what we want to do is snap a profile on here uh, let's see before we do that <laughs> I always think of these things after the fact let's go ahead and go to our solids and let's kind of give those prongs so we don't have to go back and do them later uh, a little uh, relief uh, so let's see which one do I want I want flay so I'm going to take the blend edge and I'm just going to go through here with my preview on uh, select all these bottoms of my prongs right right now they're pretty sharp right they're, they're coming down pretty sharp so let's go ahead and give them a little relief 
Uh, just keep going around here. This one will probably need some make other adjustments. Yeah, and hit enter, enter. Actually, you probably don't even need to do those right there. And we might end up not doing that. Let's not do this one here. This one and this one and this one. Let's not do that one. Uh, the reason being is it since it's in three different pieces, it may not uh, blend very well. Uh, so right now we have this, all right, and uh, I think it's set up at one. It's going to blow on us. We know that, but it, we have our pre preview on. So let's hit our preview and then give it some time. Yeah, we knew that it's going to happen. Uh, set all, and we want to drop them down to maybe around a point two. See what that does for us. Give it some time. It's got to go through all those prongs. And there, there we go. Yeah, that's cool. Just a little, and it broke all my history. Oh well. Uh, there we go. So there, and let's take our prongs, and they're all closed, so we're good to go. All right. So now let's grab this uh, ring rail here, or this rail, going through the mids of our stone. Go to our tools. Go to profile placer, and we want to get this in, kind of somewhat of a area we want it so we want it to go split right in there so we'll take it drag it up and kind of try and keep it at that angle where it's as close as possible you probably won't be able to get it perfect but uh, get it kind of right in the mid again don't worry too much because we can manipulate it right uh, so let's go here change the profile go to our library and we'll just get a nice rounded square one there and we'll kind of uh, drag this in so it goes into our prongs again uh, you can manipulate it later so you don't have to worry about getting it head on right away and we don't need it two millimeters amount our 1.2 should be fine and we want to maybe add another one somewhere right in here perhaps uh, just make it easier to in case we need to manipulate it and kind of keep that one same yeah looks pretty close again we can manipulate it after we flow it and <coughs> we'll take it down here from our uh, front view here and we'll just drop one kind of like right in here and we'll need to swing that one around it looks like as well getting it right in there with our line and it looks like it's leaning back a little so let's go ahead and make it lean a little forward let's see if that's as far as we can get down on that line uh, right around here kind of make it going up that prong right and let's let's just go ahead and take that we can always manipulate him so let's go ahead and do our surface sweep surface one uh, with uh, this ring rail here uh, this profile, this profile, and that profile, and hit enter. Okay, and let's turn some shading on. Kind of see what we got going here. All right, we don't need it sticking out that far, maybe a little bit back in. And going around, going around, kind of take a look at it. You can probably uh, make it a little thinner because it's not much right there, right? So let's go ahead and hit enter, and let's go back in. Uh, redo these profiles oh there it is it finally shot there and there okay and then edit and we'll just go to this one here first and we'll just drag that into a 1.2 we'll go to this one here drag that into a 1.2 so it's a little bit better there grab this one and take it to a 1.2 all right, so it's still a little off, right? So let's take this one here and let's move him just a little over, maybe if I can move it, there we go. Yeah, there we go, a little bit better. All right. And it looks like it's down a little, so let's go make sure we get our front view in here too. Alright, so it looks like it's down a little. Let's drag him up a little. 
there we go going down with our prongs uh, and let's see a little kind of close here so let's go back in here and let's take this one down to let's say a 0.75 let's keep him there 0.75 give it a little 0.5 Point seven five or that's eight. Oh, point seven should be fine. So let's do that. Let's take this one, drop him down to point seven. Seven, and let's take this one and drop him down. You can adjust these however high you want. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and take that. and all our prongs are pretty well lined up there right and you can keep going through there and manipulating it however you see fit I don't wanna like I said take up a lot of your time let's drag this down there we go alright alright well you can keep on doing that and we'll just go ahead and hit enter from there alright so we've got our pretty much our basics uh, done uh, and we've got a nice little uh, ring going on right and actually let's take this bezel and let's go back and manipulate I forgot to we don't need it that deep so let's go uh, take it back up to something like that and we'll just hit enter all right and now uh, let's bring back our rails so uh, outside ring rail click there hit show and inside ring rail uh, show so now we have both our ring rails out there let's take all our yellow and all our red and we'll just actually we'll just yeah we'll turn them to gray all right all right so we have this now it's just the simple uh, process of getting everything lined up and ready to go so we'll go ahead and uh, do a place a ring rail right here profile and we'll kind of come down go to all our viewports and we'll drag it right around in here we'll kind of set this one up a little something like that uh, and we don't want a circle let's go to something that has a little bit a uh, little bit of something uh, I, don't, I don't know let's just uh, I I have not looked really at the profiles, so uh, let's I'm kind of leaning for this one for some reason. Let's take that uh, and hit uh, select. Uh, and let's go ahead and get that into kind of order. So let's bring this one in kind of tight. And let's uh, go ahead and snap him to our outside ring rail. And let's see what we got going here kind of sharp there though but we can always blend that uh, you know, like I said we can always do some manipulation there uh, so let's go ahead and place another one down here and let's change this one so that it kind of uh, gives us a little bit of uh, options here and we'll go to this one and we will make him a uh, wider little bit and we'll just try this see what this does now you can play around with your profiles uh, we'll do a sweep one uh, or no no sweep two parametric uh, select ring rails one two select profile one select profile two hit enter let's give it some yeah that's not too bad actually okay and we don't uh, we'll check maintain height right uh, let's check see what it does I like that so we'll just go ahead and get rid of these uh, caps actually we'll keep the cap at the top here it'd be easier for us so that looks okay actually so we'll go ahead and just accept that alright and now I think we're pretty much almost there yeah so let's go ahead and uh, hide our ring rails really real quick and we'll select all this 
and we'll go to transform go to our mirror wait for it to pop up click it over on the other side oh, that's what I wanted right there and we will hit enter okay there we go so let's see what we've got yeah okay uh, from here all we have to do is make that uh, cup right right here in the center for our pearl so what we're going to do is go to our top view and we will go ahead and turn on wireframe here and we'll go back to our curves and we'll just do it just a plain simple uh, cut cup right so a uh, circle let's see we'll just do a circle we'll go to F4 and uh, turn off everything and let's see we want it to kind of connect something like that and we're going to take that well actually let's just do another one uh, bring back that command F4 and we want to do something like that so we'll take this curve here and this curve and let's see we'll just go ahead and uh, well, we'll bring them up somewhere around where our pearls at all right so we've got them up there let's see what we've got alright and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one my gumball take this one and I'm going to drop that one down just slightly somewhere around there uh, and then I'm going to go back to my top one and I'm going to hold down my, or grab that little ball there and just drag it down so now I have a surface right so I'm going to take that surface and CAP it okay so I got a cap there right okay so let's grab this see what I got going on here and you could actually uh, manipulate this in if you wanted to uh, change it a little uh, but we're going to leave it there just for the sake of the video here uh, you could you can manipulate this a lot uh, in order to not maybe see so much but you're not really going to see so much anyway once it's really done so let's drag it down some uh, we need to bring it up a little I want it kind of right in there and I am going to actually take that and I'm going to hold down shift and just make it a little smaller doesn't need to be well undo go to my top view hold down shift and bring him in a little something like that okay did I grab the right curve? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's our item, and he's touching our prongs, which is fine. That'll give it a nice support. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a boolean. We'll do a uh, a boolean difference. Uh, this will be our first surface. Enter. This will be our second surface. Enter and enter and then we'll take this turn it to this color here take this oh I joined them together what what oh no I think I cut the wrong thing so let's go back undo that okay we got that let's take him first and put him there there we go alright so we'll do a boolean difference this will be our first surface enter this will be our second surface enter oh, there we go and then hit enter and let's hide this and take this turn it to gray and so we have our little pearl cup right there right and let's bring back that actually let's keep them hidden and now that curve that we have in there that small one right so we have that we want to select that drag him down a little bit somewhere around here 
and we'll just do the same thing here we'll drag him out and hit uh, cap okay so we have this cap all right so we should be able to we want to make it a little hollow there so we're going to take this we're going to boolean difference with this uh, we'll abort this okay okay one more time uh, we're going to take this uh, hit enter take this hit enter and now we have a hole there and hit enter and take this turn it to gray yeah, okay and let's check our top there yeah okay and now what we want to do is go to cutters cut to ring rail bring back our ring rail here so where'd our ring rail go select ring rail that right there select surface that right there hit enter and there we go okay so there's our pro cup and that should be fine uh, and now the last thing we need to do is go to our uh, curves grab a line uh, but not just a line we want to grab a line uh, which one is it uh, uh, I think we can go to line curve and then we come down here and go to normal uh, normal select curve surface that will be this one all right and let's turn on our snaps maybe we can get a nice snap in the middle there and we did and we want to drag it up right but not not so much <laughs> uh, let's turn off our snaps but it doesn't matter because it's it's locked to the norms of that surface so there it is our, where's our pearl how far does our pearl go up uh let's show our pearl we want oh okay well our pearl's there now uh so let's go ahead and hide that again it comes up around yeah about the top of our prongs halfway all right so let's go grab our pearl again and go back and hide it let's grab that uh, line curve go to our norm uh, select our surface right there right in our mid with our snaps on right there and then drag him up let's turn off snaps at this point and right around there should be fine okay because uh, we need a post to put that uh, pearl on right uh, there's lots of ways you could do this part. Uh, I think I'll try this way. I have not tried it this way, but I think it'll work. Uh, we'll go to our solids. We will go to rope. Okay. Number of threads, we'll just take that to one. All right. And the number of turns, we'll jack that up qu quite. Uh, oh, it doesn't. There we go. Oh, it's going like that. That is a bummer. Okay. So it's not that will not work <laughs> all right so we'll just grab our curve and we'll go to our circle i wonder if it'll work with us we'll go to our oval yeah we'll try a circle it should spin right well we'll just do a rectangle uh but a rectangle from center okay so we want to turn on our snaps right here kind of go to our top view uh turn off our snaps Kind of squared up, two by two, whatever. Something like this, perhaps. Uh, and let's uh, do a little sweep. Uh, surface one. Here, here. Hmm? What? Let's uh, undo that. I don't know what happened there. Uh, sweep one. This curve, that profile. Hit enter nothing no sweep what is the deal tonight all right so let's let's turn off green let's turn off purple all right we'll try it now surface one this curve select profiles here hit enter and no dice okay please enter so we'll get back out of that. All right. Well, if you don't want to do that for me, I'll just extrude you. <laughs> there. Okay. And then we'll just take this and we'll hit cap. All right. And now what we want to do is go to our transform. And somewhere around here, I haven't used it very often, twist. Okay. So part to twist will be our, our top part here. 
uh, and uh, angle we want to just twist it around twist it around kind of something like that and hit enter okay and we want to I think yeah give us our rounded poly surface I think so that we want to get rid of we just want to keep our twisted one uh, and then hit show 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 there all right so turn off our gray and turn off our pearl there and we need to take this and do some joining boolean union this here enter this here enter enter that's okay why does it have a hole there though that is not going to work open poly surface yeah wonder what happened there all right let's uh, undo that real quick is my things okay my things sticking through let's make it a little bit smaller we don't want it sticking through and then we'll just take it and pull it up a little there we go and now let's see if we can do a boolean union this surface here enter this surface here enter enter this hide this check says varies uh, what's going on uh, go to our analyze no tools check out our naked edges one naked edge non manifold okay so where are you at puppy oh right there ah. what happened there Okay, so that's hollow right there. That's what it is. So just type in C A P. It won't cap. So take uh, take that edge. Go to surface, and we can just do a patch. And hit OK. Take that patch. Take this. Join it together. Okay, and then take that closed poly surface so we fix that real quick no big deal okay and then it's just basically joining everything together right uh, that's really kind of all you have to do uh, so hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of how to make a, a little uh, pro ring <laughs> uh, and we'll turn on matrix gold but that's uh, you can do a nice little uh, pro ring and that'll uh, actually wear pretty good I think uh, and it's a uh, pretty sharp design. So let's go ahead and do the uh, render. Why not? Uh, just to see what it looks like rendered. So let's turn. Uh, let's turn this to this pink here. Let's turn off everything that's not uh, needed for our render. We'll grab this here. We'll go to our gems, and we'll give it a uh, golden pearl look, I guess. And we'll hit apply. Uh, we'll take all our blue gems, uh, we'll go all the way down to the bottom. G Matrix 3 has the uh, V-Ray gems, so we'll go grab that, hit apply, and then we'll grab our purple and our green, and we'll put that on a white gold and hit apply. Uh, and then from here, what we'll do is we'll just do a render. Let's see what it looks like. go there's our window there you go nice little pearl ring all right so I hope the video was helpful uh, if it was please uh, please please leave a like and subscribe I, I don't know what I did here it's rendering okay oh it's still rendering so it's there we go uh, <coughs> Please leave a like and subscribe, and also that SOS. If you're still around, <laughs> thanks very much. And if you uh, have had that issue with the tech report, please uh, throw that up on the comments, and let's help this guy out uh, and ourselves if we ever come across it. So uh, thanks for watching. Good designing, and have a great day.